Alright, so here's some recordings, and yeah, here's some more victims of the crime beast. Although the the moral integrity of the deceased uh, comes into question, cu question because yeah, not only is the killing disturbing, but the union between two victims. Because this talks about this a, a girl, a minor named Tony Ann Reed, was 15, who was involved with a man. Um, and Ocean Spence, who was 10 years of senior. So, yeah, the creepiness factor is has just been kicked up and turned up there. So, yeah, so a pedophile, this pedophile, and his underage um, partners, quote unquote, are the subject of the story. So, 15 year old student who ran away from her home in St. James more than six months ago and her and her pedophile boyfriend and calling her boy uh, her normal him a normal boyfriend yeah this is just the uh, statutory rapist where score shot to death in holes in Rampton in the parish this list today the teen Tony and uh, Tony and Antoinette Reed and O'Shane Spence who I mentioned his agent mentioned were murdered in their four apartment home at Holiday Rock in the Rampton community Albert Reed, Tony's dad, told Star that his daughter left home. He had no idea she's still in Roehampton. And then, uh, so now you go and say that that, that he um, that that he or his daughter was exhibiting some very uncharacteristic behavior, and that she, and that how she and and that how he 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 didn't approve that obvious relationship that he and. Um, that he and her and her statutory percent because he says that hey this guy is no good not only the fact that this guy is having a inappropriate relationship with someone who's a minor this guy was a no was no angel but unfortunately if this is shaping up to what i think it is yeah she paid the price for her folly all right all right and then he said we say he struggled as a single dad, as chosen my left him to raise them. Okay, basically, I have a deadbeat mother who's, and I'm pretty sure that when the story comes to light, they're not, they're going to hand wave with the so-called mother's actions. All right, and so, and so he said, even that his father, and this is more about her dad. He said that he was on um, that he was begging for Tony and to Canada's street note and then unfortunately his hard-headed daughter did not listen and then when they uh, when the obvious enemies of Spence came for them it was pretty for this for both of them uh, but it was basically looks like he this was uh, that the part of the fact that her the statutory rapist part of due to the fact that he was no choir boy was most likely mixed up in a gang. I can guarantee you that this guy had some gang connections and that and when you have get involved in that lifestyle that usually does not end well. You usually accumulate a grocery list of enemies and usually those enemies or the authorities end up being the ones putting you in putting you in the dirt six feet under with worms. That's how that story usually ends and it just seems like this Unfortunate, hard-headed girl, and I'm just going by what the father's saying. Did not listen to her father to stay from this guy, but but apparently the daughter, unfortunately, learned the hard way what happens when you don't when you um, when you take up bad company, and especially with someone who's way too old for you. Now, on principle, the boyfriend of uh, Spence should have been arrested for for stuff for pedophilia, cause like. A grown ass man has no business being involved with a minor. That is a criminal offense itself. Like, but then again, let's not act like that. There are a lot of so so called adults, male and female, who do not have that moral boundaries and they just figure, hey, since these are children of four stripe, if you know the term, that they're fair game. Um, no, they're not on principle. But then again, we're not dealing with principle people who who have these very disgusting and sickening views and. And unfortunately, this girl paid the price for her for not listening to her dad. And yeah, when I say that this girl deserved what she got, but at the end of the day, it's not like she wasn't warned. And if her dad, unless it turns out, hey, that this father wasn't father, parent of the year, just like the mother was, absence teen mother was, then yeah, I'd have to say that, hey, she, this was just pretty much a case study of what happens when you don't stay on the path of the street and narrow and this silent girl learned the hard way but 
this is a case study i mean yeah i don't wish death I mean i don't feel sad with suspense because not only is a sick pervert but he is also a he is also again a criminal other criminal and yeah if um if him getting what getting what was expected yeah that's nothing new although i'm sure that his friends and families are going to go to come to bat for him and say that he was just that he was um that he was a model citizen that he did this and that for his community and yeah we'll, we'll ignore and don't play the fact that this guy is having improper relationships with a 15 year old girl but i'm sure they'll come to bat and say that this guy was a wonder a nice wonderful human being and that he's just as much a victim as his underage statue um, victim i mean i call that a relationship that is a statutory rape situation right there but we have to tell stories about like this unfortunately because things like that have to be focused on. And that's all I have to say. And yeah, I can definitely summarize the motivation was had to do some with some criminal connections or interactions. Spence was involved in and this little girl was just a um, a casualty in this uh, in this um, in the crossfire. Although from I wouldn't be surprised if she was involved in some stuff too. And again, that came at that came at a price as you can see. But this is also a, a case study for people who, feel, um, who think that that criminal lifestyle that is like in the, the movies where you do all this, you do, do go on this Bonnie and Clyde routine gimmick, and then at the end of the day, at the end of the movie, you get to walk away um, right into the sunset as a credit show. No, that's not how real life works, and this story is proof, proof positive of why of what I just said. This is for State of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Check out my YouTube pages, Miles Goose and Fern. Magic Productions, Real Thoughts and Miles. Ciao.